Hello and welcome to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol. I'm so glad you've joined us today. Check out the sections on the Bottoms Down YouTube channel homepage. They just make it easier for you to find classes by length or by purpose or by body area. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. It's free and it lets us let you know when new classes are posted. And I'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment. Now in today's practice, we're going to explore poses for core strength. You'll need your chair and you'll need a ball. Now if you don't have a ball, you can substitute a toilet paper roll or you can just do the classes without it. So let's go ahead and set our ball down under our chair for now and let's get started. So we're going to take just a moment to ground our feet to the floor. So think about all four of those pressure points equally weighted on the floor. And let's take a moment to ground those sits bones. So those pointy bones that we sit on, make sure they're equally weighted on the chair and that you feel nice and solid and grounded. All right, we're going to pull our belly button in and lift our heart. Take those shoulders down out of the ears. We're going to place our hands lightly on the thighs, close our eyes, and breathe. Taking just a moment to connect to your heart center, letting go of everything outside of the room. Now begin to notice your breath, just your natural inhalation and exhalation. And let's elongate that breath, inhaling a little more deeply, exhaling a little more completely. And with each inhalation, think about elongating that spine just a little bit more. Crown of the head towards the ceiling. We're going to move into that yoga breath, that diaphragmatic breath. As you inhale, the belly extends. We're filling the lungs from the bottom up. And as you exhale, pull that belly button to the spine and push the air up and out of the lungs. Do that a few times. and breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart and set your intentions for today's practice. One more breath here. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. Let's roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Oh yeah. Up, back, and down, and reverse that. So just nice shoulder rolls, should feel really good. All right, very, very, very good. Okay, so we're going to begin uh, just with some neck stretches. So we're gonna drop that uh, ear towards the shoulder first. So just feeling that stretch. Now go ahead and drop your chin towards your chest. You're looking down at your lap. So stretching into the back of that neck. Let's go ahead and go to the other side. And we're gonna drop that chin down. Okay, now go ahead and look at me. Clasp your hands behind your back. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you, you can just hold on to the back of the chair, which is works just fine. But if you're with me, I'm going to clasp my hands behind my back. Notice how I'm pulling those shoulder blades back, right? So or the shoulders are going back. I'm squeezing those shoulder blades behind me. All right. Now let's drop that neck, that ear towards the shoulder again. Mm. You feel a little different? I do. Just a little bit different in those neck stretches. All right. Let's go ahead and drop the chin towards the chest. Now don't lose that squeeze behind the back, okay? Go ahead and draw that other ear to the shoulder. Oh yeah. Do you have one side that's tighter than the other? I do. 
Let's go ahead and look back down again. Go ahead and look up to me, release those hands, and roll those shoulders again. Whew, maybe roll them one at a time. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Maybe rock that head a little bit too, if you like that. And release it and reverse. And release. Okay, so we're gonna move into that cat and cow series. So the first thing we're gonna do is hands at heart. I want you to lengthen up through that spine Feel that throat opening, okay? So just really lengthen through, head to the ceiling, feeling that openness. Now we're gonna place our hands on our thighs, pull the belly button in, feel that tailbone lengthen as you tuck the chin and look down at your lap. Let's go ahead and lift up into our cow pose, grab the back of the chair, and lift that heart up. It should feel really good. Let's do that again. Round it down into cat. And lift it up into cow. Let's add the breath. Inhale here. Exhale, round it down. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, round. Beautiful. And release. All right. So we're going to move into extended mountain. So I'm going to take my right hand, I'm going to lengthen it up towards the ceiling, and then my left hand is going to come down towards the floor. So I'm kind of pressing up with one hand and I'm pressing down with the other hand, right? Lengthening through. Feeling that spine nice and long, belly is tight. Let's come back center and we're gonna to go to the other side, all right? So this hand is gonna go up, opposite hand is down, and lengthen and stretch. Feel that lengthening through the spine, belly is tight, touch, 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 and release. Let's do that one more time, here we go. Feel that lengthening through. Now, if you have shoulder issues, maybe you wanna keep this hand at, at uh, goalpost arms, and that is fine, absolutely fine. All right, let's come center and we're going the other way. Lengthen through, lengthen through. One more breath and release. Very good. Okay, we're going to move into a crescent lunge. So we're going to take our right knee and open it nice and wide. So first thing you're going to feel is a little inner thigh stretch, right? So go ahead and feel that first. Now the key to a, a, this crescent lunge is one thing, we're gonna let this knee fall straight down towards the floor, okay? So what we're feeling here is this stretch right in the front of this leg. And maybe right here is good for you and you wanna stay here. But if you want a little bit more, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this foot back behind me. I'm up on those back toes. My heart is lifted. Now I'm getting even more stretch here. But don't worry, right? If this is a better if this is a better position for you and you're feeling the stretch, then stick right here and it's great. If you want a little more, you're gonna push that foot back. All right, let's release that and face forward. So this leg, we're gonna continue with this same leg. Let's extend that leg long, toes are to the ceiling. So I want the leg to be straight, but don't lock out the knee, okay? You're gonna extend the spine long Hands on thighs to begin with, and let your heart fall forward. So if, you've, uh, if this is your first time for one of my classes, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you've been with me a while, you'll know, let's go ahead and lift up, that I talk about adding on. You don't ever have to add on if you don't want to. But if you want the add-on for this pose, we're going to extend the spine long, and instead of holding onto the thighs, we're going to walk our hands down that leg. Ah, <sighs> right, we're just breathing into the stretch. We're feeling that hamstring stretching. Oh, just one more breath here, and let's walk those hands back up. We're gonna bend that knee and put that foot on the floor. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side now. So that crescent lunge, we're gonna take that knee and open it up first, just feeling that inner thigh stretch. It's a good one. It's just a good stretch, it's a good thing to to work into those inner thighs. It's just kind of an area that we don't stretch a whole lot, right? So we're gonna hang out here for just a couple more breaths. 
All right, now we're gonna let this knee fall down towards the floor. Remember that that is a great version if that works for you. If you want the add-on, you're gonna push that foot back behind you. Either way, I want your heart lifted, okay? So either, direct, either version, wherever your leg is, heart is lifted, shoulders are down, belly is tight. Release this glute too, that's another thing. So I want you to just really feel the stretch. So we're kind of relaxing the muscles back here to feel a good, nice stretch in the front side of that leg. Let's release that just one more time. All right, face forward. Ready for pyramid pose? Remember, same leg, extend it out, toes to the ceiling. Do not lock the knee. Extend the spine, keep the back flat. Let that heart fall forward. I know there's lots to think about, isn't there? Don't worry, I'll cue it all. That's my job, right, is to keep you safe. Let's go ahead and roll it up. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. This time, the add-on is walking your hands down the legs. Extend through the spine, belly is tight. We're gonna walk down that leg. And let that heart fall forward, oh yeah. Just one more breath here. Go ahead and walk that hand back up. Come back to your seated position. And let's grab a sip of water. We're gonna to come to standing on the right side of our chair. Okay. So our arms are gonna to face towards the, up to the ceiling. Belly is tight, shoulders are down. We're gonna do a windmill twist standing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this hand and you're gonna windmill around and you're facing your chair, okay? My hips are gonna move a little bit, but I want you to try to focus on having the action happen right at the rib cage, all right? Now, this hand is gonna come, we're gonna bend our knees, this hand is gonna come down and around, don't hit your chair, back up to the ceiling, and then we're gonna windmill the other way. Okay? Straighten through those arms, lengthen through the arms, belly button is tight, arms are squeezing against the bones, and we're gonna come down and we're gonna come back up, and we're gonna do that again. So really concentrate. This is a very mindful movement. Belly is tight. Squeeze your bones against the arms, the muscles in those arms. I'll say it right here in just a minute. The muscles against the bones in the arms. Bring that down and around. Dip up to the ceiling and windmill the other way. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Down and up to the ceiling. We're gonna dive forward now, belly button to spine, swan dive forward into a forward fold. Hands on shins, go ahead and do a halfway lift, extend through the spine, forward fold. We're gonna reverse swan dive, up we go. All the way mountain to pose and bring your hands to your heart. We're going to do that again, all right? Lengthen up, root to rise, move your arms. Here we go, extend those arms out. Bring those hands down and around, back to mountain pose, windmill the other way. Down and around, up we go, diving forward, belly button to spine. Forward fold. Hands on shins for a halfway lift, extending through that spine, forward fold, and reverse swan dive, up we go. And bring your hands to your heart. Okay, checking in, how does that feel? All right, it's a little bit like a sun salutation, but we just have that windmill twisting and happening. So now what we're going to do is as we come up and we twist, we're gonna take the palms of our hands and place them out. The backs of the hands are to the wall and we're gonna press, okay? And then we'll come down and around and we'll do the same on the other side. All right, are we ready? Hands to the ceiling. All right, here we go. We're gonna to twist to face our chair first. 
Palms are facing out, backs of the palms to the wall behind you. Press back, squeezing your shoulder blades behind you. Belly is tight. Back hand comes down and around. We dip up. We're going to twist and we're going to go the other way. Backs of the palms to the back wall. Hands up, back to mountain pose. Dive forward, belly button to spine. Forward fold, ha. Hands on shins for a halfway lift. Really lengthen through your spine. Stretching, forward fold, reverse swan dive, up we go. Mountain pose, bring your hands to your heart. Last time through, here we go. Up we go. Windmill it open, we're starting on that other side, it doesn't matter. Down and around we go. And we're gonna twist the other direction. Palms facing out, press those backs of the palms back. Down and around. Mountain pose, dive it forward, belly button to spine. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reverse swan dive, up we go. Mountain pose. And bring your hands to your heart. All right, very good. Okay, let's grab our ball. And we're going to move into a cat and cow using the ball. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the ball in our right hand and we're going to open up into that cow pose. Okay, so we're opening up the heart. My thumbs are kind of angled to the back. We're going to bring the ball behind our back. We're going to grasp it with the other hand. Then we're going to come down into cat pose. Bring that ball down. Tuck the chin. Look down at your lap. And we're going to open with the ball in the opposite hand again. You see what I'm doing there? Open into cow, hands behind the back. Grab the ball with the other hand and open. Let's come down into cat pose. Bring that ball down to your thighs. Grab it with the other hand. Don't forget to round, round, round. Up we go. Last time like this, we're going to switch it up. Ball behind the back. Open. Cat pose. All right, now keep the ball in the same hand. Don't switch hands in cat pose. Up we go. We're going to switch it up. Ball behind the back. Back, open it up into cow. Back into cat. Hands, switch hands with the ball. Open it up. Behind the back. Open back up. Back into cat pose. Round down. Switch hands for the ball, open it up. Back behind. And to cat pose. And release. Okay, we're going to mix it up a little bit. Now, come into your cat pose. Take the ball in that right hand, bring it back behind, and open up into cow. Come back into cat. The ball comes back behind you, switch sides, back open into cow. Last time, let's come into cat. We're going to switch that ball. We've got to do both sides though. Open it up into cow. Last time, back into cat. Ball behind your back, switch the sides, open it up, and release. All right, let's have a seat. Place your ball under your chair and grab a sip of water. Okay, if you would grab your ball and we're going to place it right between our feet. Okay, we're going to, and remember if you don't have a ball, it's fine. It's okay. Let's heel toe our feet, heel toe, heel toe, our feet wide, all right? Now what you're going to do is you're going to have your hands on the thighs first and you're just going to hinge forward, okay? Keeping those arms, hands right on the thighs for some support. You feel your inner thighs working, right? Okay, press through those heels and go ahead and lift the heart back up. Okay, let's do that one more time. Down we go. Belly button is to the spine, working those abdominals. And we're going to lift back up. Okay. So you can stay right there if that feels good for you. 
If you're with me, we're going to pull our belly button in, we're going to hinge forward, and we're going to place those hands on the ball, okay? If you don't have the hand of a ball, you can have your hands on the floor, or you can have your hands on your thighs. Either is fine, okay? Now, if your hand is on the ball, what you're going to do is you're going to take your left hand, you're going to place it right under your face, and you're going to twist open with that opposite arm. And you're going to come down, and you're going to place that hand on the ball, and you're going to twist open the other side. And you're going to come down, and you're going to pull your belly button in, and you're going to roll it up nice and slow. Now, I want to show you what you're going to do if you don't have a ball, right? If your hands are on the thighs, you're coming down. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to twist. You see what I'm doing? I'm taking this elbow down, and I'm coming up and I'm taking that other elbow down, and I'm coming up. Okay, and roll it up. All right, let's do that one more time. Here we go. Roll down, hands on the ball, or whatever placement works for you. Here we go. We're going to twist it open. We're going to come back down. We're going to twist it open the other way. We're going to come back down, belly button to spine, and we're going to roll it up nice and all right, how does that feel? Good. Let's go ahead and heel toe those feet back in together. You're probably feeling a little inner thigh stretch there, outer thigh working, belly working. Grab your ball. Again, if you don't have a ball, don't worry about it. Your feet are on the floor. Take that ball in that right hand, all right? We're going to lift our knee to tabletop. We're going to take the ball and pass it under that leg, and we're going to open it the other way. And we're going to pass, and we're going to open, and we're going to pass, and we're going to open. And we're going to pass. Are you working your abdominals? You should be. And open. And pass. And open. And pass. And open. Last time. Pass. And open. Take just a little break. Bring that ball in. You good? Okay, can we do that one more time? Let's do it. Here we go. And pass. And open. And pass. And open. And pass. And open. And and pass, and up. two more. We got this. Last one, we gotta do two sides, right? And release, very, very good. Okay, so keep your ball right here. Um, we're gonna move into a crescent lunge and we're gonna use our ball. So just hang on to it, take that knee and open it nice and wide. Let this knee fall down, okay? Press that foot back behind you. Grab your hands, the ball at heart, all right? So remember, you can have that knee straight down to the floor if that feels better for you, or you can be on those back toes with the back knee pressing up against the ceiling. Whichever works for you, heart is lifted. Inhale here, exhale, hands to the ceiling. Now this is only an option if you wanna do it. Inhale here, exhale, hands come out and over. Inhale here, exhale, up we go. Grab the ball in that left hand and open it up wide. You're looking at the ceiling. Hands back to the ceiling. Out we go. Hands to the ceiling. Grab the ball in the other hand and look up at the ceiling. Extend and release. Face forward. Extend this leg out in front of you. Lengthen through the spine. Ball is forward. Take that ball forward towards the toes. Inhale here, exhale up we go. Inhale here, extend and hinge. And up we go. Really, really good, pyramid pose, okay. So now we're gonna move into pigeon. So we're gonna take our ankle to ankle or our ankle to knee. Let's just place the ball in our lap for now. Extend the spine long and let that heart fall forward. Feel that stretch right here in the hip and glute. Go ahead and lift the heart up. Let's flutter that butterfly a little bit, butterfly wing. Let's do that again. Extend, bellies tight and hinge. Go ahead and lift it up and release. 
Okay, other side. That knee is going to open up nice and wide. This knee is going to fall towards the floor. Remember, crescent lunge. This knee can be down towards the floor, or you can lift that back of that kneecap up towards the ceiling and feel a little bit more stretch. Your choice. Bring your hands to your heart. Okay, are we ready? We're going to add on. Here we go. Uh, inhale first. Exhale. Extend those arms long. Inhale here. Exhale forward. We go. Inhale here. Exhale up. We go. Inhale. Exhale. Lean it forward. Extending through that spine. Inhale here. Exhale. Lift it up. Don't lose the extension. Inhale here. Exhale forward. We go. Inhale here. Exhale up. We go. Now, Release that hand and uh, release the leg just for a moment. Put the ball into your left hand or right hand. It doesn't matter. We're going to do both. Here we go. Extend that leg back. Open that heart up. Bring the hands back center. Open it up with the, hand, the ball in the other hand. Bring it back center. Let's do that again. Open it up. And center. Last one. Open it up. And center, bring that ball back, center, release, and face forward. Pyramid pose. We're not going to use the ball on this one. We've done our back a whole lot. We're going to leave the back out this time. Extend through the spine, hands on thighs, let that heart fall forward. Tuck the chin and roll it up. Extend through that spine, belly is tight, let that heart fall forward. Tuck the chin and roll it up. Last time. Here we go. Extend and hinge. Mm. And roll it up. Beautiful. Okay. Pigeon pose. Ankle to ankle or ankle to knee. Extend through the spine. Let the heart fall forward. Keep the back flat. Feel that stretch in the hip back here. Let's roll it up. And we're going to do that one more time. Let's flutter that butterfly wing first. Are we ready? Here we go. Extend and hinge. Oh, yeah. And roll it up. Very good. Place both feet on the floor. Go ahead and sit back in your chair. You can lean back if you wish. Hands are going to rest lightly on the thighs. Palms are going to face up. Close your eyes. To have courage. Where does courage come from? It comes from purpose. You cannot avoid the risks of life. What you can do is give yourself powerful enough reasons to endure and to mitigate those risks. Do you seek to have courage? Then make sure you know why. Go beyond merely speaking about what's important to you. Live it, feel it, act it out every day. Courage does not come from wanting to have courage for the sake of courage or for the sake of appearances. Courage comes from the desire to create the best life you can envision for yourself and all those you care about. Courage is what you have when you live beyond yourself, beyond the expediency of the moment. Fill your life with purpose and you'll imbue your actions with courage. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with the right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with the hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with your left hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Remember to click that subscribe button and I will see you 
next time.